Hi everybody, this is a short video to demonstrate how we can conduct data visualization right within Excel using Excel functions. In Excel, we can create built-in charts or pivot charts to present data graphically. Uh, on the right, there's a few sample of these uh, charts that uh, we use, plain old charts that uh, uh, sometimes meets our business demands, but as technology and uh, the business uh, advance, that uh, oftentimes these plain old charts couldn't convey the information um, that we want to extract out of the data um, more intuitively. And there are many ways to present the data nowadays um, beyond what you see here. And uh, how can we do that? So, for instance, when we need to present the data in a 3D manner, like uh, a, a 3D contour of a of, of a mountain or, or any any object that that uh, nowadays uh, 3D modeling can generate, or when we need to present data uh, within the geographic information system. Uh, content uh, such as Google map as a background so that we can show information over the map or we have uh, a need to present the data um, with a heat map again with geographic um, back information or some other um, special graphs that could uh, easily present the data or connections between the data um, if otherwise uh, would be difficult to convey. So with all these information, obviously Excel couldn't do it. And uh, what are the options that uh, beyond Excel? You could buy expensive software and spend many uh, weeks to learn how to use it. And eventually it drills down to create a few charts that uh, you need specifically. And uh, does it worth it in terms of money and time? Or you can think of another way that is any uh, a easy way or a more um, uh, cost-effective way to to come up with these draw, uh, graphs easily. And with the X tool, you can get it done in minutes. And a lot of these uh, charts are free to you. So in some in summary, that uh, Excel has built-in graphic tools that sometimes couldn't meet your business demands and uh, Xtool is presented as a uh, low-cost and uh, agile op option that you can easily generate intuitive or interactive charts. Xtool is an open platform uh, that based on the cloud, so you can assess these tools anywhere uh, as long as you have internet. And as a user, you can easily conduct these data visualization right within Excel. And uh, the nice things doesn't stop here. As a developer, actually, you can customize your app in your favorite uh, programming language, be it Python, Java, or uh, others. And uh, you can share the developer app over the Excel platform to others. So with Excel, you can only draw plain old charts. And within five minutes, uh, any user could generate all of these charts right within Excel. And we're going to show how. So let's uh, quickly go over what is Xtool. Xtool stands for Excel tool. Xtool is an Excel add-in tool that's backed by cloud-based application libraries and knowledge base to help you to be more productive at work. And it has many nice features, including one click for all applications. And it is simple and uh, yet parametric modular tools that allows you to do simple logic, but many times for, for many um, data that you need to process repetitively, it is one button click essentially. And you can host the library or application library both in at local or, or on the cloud, it depends on what you need. And you can easily customize, archive and share these apps uh, with others. And let's quickly go over the, the interface, should you not familiar with uh, the interface right now, once you install our client, which, which is very light duty, you have user account here that basically manages how, uh, what are the apps that uh, you would be able to assess. And uh, once you log in, you can come in and uh, search for any apps that, that you can 
run directly out of the uh, out of Excel, and uh, those apps will generally operate the data that you you have prepared here. And once you're familiar with the apps and you want to use them over and over without need to search for them, you can make them favorite apps here and uh, you can custom uh, your layout to to show different favorite apps uh, under different circumstances. For instance, you want to work on Excel functions, you can uh, use this layout and if you want to use data visualization, you can change to a data visualization app group. So that's all you need uh, to use Excel or Xtool. Ribbon customization. This video will demonstrate how to customize the Xtool ribbon. Sometimes multiple repeated functions must be used to complete a task. Or a user performs certain tasks more than others and does not want to repeatedly search for the same function. The Xtool ribbon can be customized and interchanged by the user. From a blank spreadsheet, click on the Xtool tab. Make sure the Xtool account is registered and signed in. Clicking on the Layout tab enables browsing through existing ribbons if they have been created or imported. To create or import a ribbon, click on the Customize Layout button. The applications on the ribbon can be separated by group. And multiple ribbons can be created for multiple purposes. Click on the Add New App button to add a function to the ribbon. App appearance details can be modified at any time by clicking on the Modify App button. Details such as layout, group, image, size, and description can be changed any time. Previously created ribbons can be imported by clicking on the Import button, Imported Files, or Zip Files. Ribbons can also be exported to share or be used on another computer by clicking on the export button. These files are also compressed. Ribbons can also be renamed anytime by clicking on the rename layout button. Ribbons can also be deleted by clicking on the delete button. Applications can be deleted by clicking on the delete selected app button. Application order can also be changed by clicking on the arrow buttons. This is how your icons will appear on the ribbon, according to group, depending on your specified size. These are small. To run an app, simply click on the icon and the Xtool tab will appear. Then enter the data as usual and run the function. Thank you! Hi everybody, this is a short video to um, go over the data visualization package one that we offer to this course and uh, with Xtool platform we can have many apps to generate various data visualization charts based on different uh, needs and uh, the implementation of these apps could use in many different type of uh, language or, or techniques and we'll quickly go over some of them here and uh, for, for one is that and uh, let's go over the apps uh, one by one uh, in the first app is uh, we use Python to create 3d generate 3d surface plots and the second one is that we use JavaScript to create false arrow interactive charts that uh, third is that we use geographic information system to plot pins on Google map or we can use this uh, geographic information system plot many data other data on Google map as well and we can use R to show dashboard type of um, plots for the data um, in statistical uh, applications and we can use JavaScript to plot scatter plots uh, scatter points and uh, there are other 
apps that uh, we can plot for multiple stock that we can uh, co uh, collect the stock real time information and present them in in a conventional or prevailing stock uh, uh, price uh, uh, graphs and so on and so forth. Thank you very much. Forest arrow chart. This video will demonstrate how to create a forest arrow chart in Excel by using Xtool. It would be ideal if this graphic could be created by only using Excel functions. Some third-party apps create data visualizations, but the capabilities are limited, the graphics aren't animated, most significantly it costs money. Xtool can create this dynamic animated chart in seconds for free. From a blank spreadsheet, click on the Xtool tab. Make sure you're signed in, then click on the Xtool button. Once the program is open, search with the keyword arrow. Since this is going to be a force arrow chart, click on the force arrow chart function. This demonstration will be using the sample data from the existing knowledge base. Once clicked, a spreadsheet with the essential information needed for running this app will appear. This is the sample data that will be used. Xtool has already grouped the data needed to create this chart together by performing the Excel list selected range function. When ready to perform the function, highlight the gray area on the chart listing the input data. Instead of clicking on Knowledge Base like last time, click on Run. Click on Collect Selection Address to confirm the set of data needed for the chart. If this is a frequently run task, archive it by either selecting a blank cell where the formula can be pasted and click on Write App Name on the main Xtool tab, then right click and choose the Xtool option to run. Or the function can be pinned to your customizable ribbon. Edit Preferences here and add App. It will appear here according to your designated preferences. Once the app is run and the data has processed, a browser window will open and your completed graphic will appear. Thank you. Scatter plot. This video will demonstrate how to create a scatter plot in Excel by using Xtool. It would be ideal if this graphic could be created by only using Excel functions. Some third-party apps create data visualizations, but the capabilities are limited, the graphics aren't animated, most significantly it costs money. Xtool can create this dynamic animated chart in seconds for free. From a blank spreadsheet, click on the Xtool tab. Make sure you're signed in, then click on the Xtool button. Once the program is open, search with the keyword Scatter. Since this is going to be a scatter plot, click on the Plot Scatter Points function. This demonstration will be using the sample data from the existing knowledge base. Once clicked, a spreadsheet with the essential information needed for running this app will appear. This is the sample data that will be used. Xtool has already grouped the data needed to create this chart together by performing the Excel list selected range function. When ready to perform the function, highlight the gray area on the chart listing the input data. Instead of clicking on Knowledge Base like last time, click on Run. Click on Collect Selection Address to confirm the set of data needed for the chart. 
If this is a frequently run task, archive it by either selecting a blank cell where the formula can be pasted and click on Write App Name on the main XTool tab. Then right click and choose the XTool option to run. Or the function can be pinned to your customizable ribbon. Edit Preferences here and add App. It will appear here according to your designated preferences. Once the app is run and the data has processed, a browser window will open and your completed graphic will appear. Thank you! Data plot on a Google Map. This video will demonstrate how to create a data plot on a Google Map by using Xtool. It would be ideal if this graphic could be created by only using Excel functions. Some third-party apps create data visualizations, but the capabilities are limited. The graphics aren't animated. Most significantly, it costs money. Xtool can create this dynamic, animated visualization for free in seconds. From a blank spreadsheet, click on the Xtool tab. Make sure you're signed in, then click on the Xtool button. Once the program is open, search with the keyword Google. Since this is going to be a data plot on a Google Map, click on the Plot Data on Google Map function. This demonstration will be using sample data from the existing knowledge base. Once clicked, a spreadsheet with the essential information needed for running this app will appear. This is the sample data that will be used. Xtool has already grouped the data needed to create this chart together by performing the Excel List Selected Range function. When ready to perform the function, highlight the gray area on the chart listing the input data. Instead of clicking on Knowledge Base, like last time, click on Run. Click on Collect Selection Address to confirm the set of data needed for the graphic. If this is a frequently run task, archive it by either selecting a blank cell where the formula can be pasted and click on Write App Name on the main Xtool tab. Then right click and choose the Xtool option to run. Or the function can be pinned to your customizable ribbon. Edit Preferences here and add the app. It will appear here according to your designated preferences. Once the app is run and the data has processed, a browser window will open. Then your completed graphic will appear. Thank you.
Sankey diagram. This video will demonstrate how to create a Sankey diagram by using Xtool. It would be ideal if this graphic could be created by only using Excel functions. Some third-party apps create data visualizations, but the capabilities are limited, the graphics aren't animated, most significantly it costs money. Xtool can create this dynamic animated visualization in seconds for free. From a blank spreadsheet, click on the Xtool tab. Make sure you're signed in, then click on the Xtool button. Once the program is open, search with the keyword sand key. Since this is going to be a sand key diagram, click on the product category sand key function. This demonstration will be using sample data from the existing knowledge base. Once clicked, a spreadsheet with the essential information needed for running this app will appear. This is the sample data that will be used. Excel has already grouped the data needed to create this chart together by performing the Excel list selected range function. When ready to perform the function, highlight the gray area on the chart listing the input data. Instead of clicking on Knowledge Base like last time, click on Run. Click on Collect Selection Address to confirm the set of data needed for the graphic. If this is a frequently run task, archive it by either selecting a blank cell where the formula can be pasted and clicking on the Write App Name on the main Xtool tab, then right-click and choose the Xtool option to run. Or the function can be pinned to your customizable ribbon. Edit Preference here and add the app. It will appear here according to your designated preferences. Once the app is run and the data is processed, a browser window will open. Then your completed graphic will appear. Thank you. Migration Animation Map this video will demonstrate how to create a migration animation map by using Xtool. It would be ideal if this graphic could be created by only using Excel functions. Some third-party apps create data visualizations, but the capabilities are limited, the graphics aren't animated, most significantly it costs money. Xtool can create this dynamic animated visualization for free in seconds. From a blank spreadsheet, click on the Xtool tab. Make sure you're signed in, then click on the Xtool button. Once the program is open, search with the keyword Migration. Since this is going to be a migration animation map, click on the Migration Animation function. This demonstration will be using the sample data from the existing knowledge base. Once clicked, a spreadsheet with the essential information needed for running this app will appear. This is the sample data that will be used. Excel has already grouped the data needed to create this chart together by performing the Excel list selected range function. When ready to perform the function, highlight the gray area on the chart listing the input data. Instead of clicking on Knowledge Base like last time, click on Run. Click on Collect Selection Address to confirm the set of data needed for the graphic. If this is a frequently run task, 
archive it by either selecting a blank cell where the formula can be pasted and clicking on Write App Name on the main X Tool tab. Then right click and choose the X Tool option to run. Or the function can be pinned to your customizable ribbon. Edit Preferences here and add the app. It will appear here according to your designated preferences. Once the app has run and the data has processed, a browser window will open. Then your completed graphic will appear. Thank you. Stepped Waterfall Chart. This video will demonstrate how to create a stepped waterfall chart by using Xtool. It would be ideal if this graphic could be created by only using Excel functions. Some third-party apps create data visualizations, but the capabilities are limited. The graphics aren't animated. Most significantly, it costs money. Xtool can create this dynamic animated visualization in seconds for free. From a blank spreadsheet, click on the Xtool tab. Make sure you're signed in, then click on the Xtool button. Once the program is open, search with the keyword waterfall. Since this is going to be a stepped waterfall chart, click on the stepped waterfall function. This demonstration will be using the sample data from the existing knowledge base. Once clicked, a spreadsheet with the essential information needed for running this app will appear. This is the sample data that will be used. Xtool has already grouped the data needed to create this chart together by performing the Excel list selected range function. When ready to perform the function, highlight the gray area on the chart listing the input data. Instead of clicking on Knowledge Base like last time, click on Run. Click on Collect Selection Address to confirm the set of data needed for the graphic. If this is a frequently run task, archive it by either selecting a blank cell where the formula can be pasted and clicking on the Write App Name on the main Xtool tab, then right-click and choose the Xtool option to run. Or the function can be pinned to your customizable ribbon. Edit Preferences here and add the app. It will appear here according to your designated preferences. Once the app has run and the data is processed, a browser window will open. Then your completed graphic will appear. Thank you! Basic Radar Chart This video will demonstrate how to create a basic radar chart by using Xtool. It would be ideal if this graphic could be created by only using Excel functions. Some third-party apps create data visualizations, but the capabilities are limited. The graphics aren't animated. Most significantly, it costs money. Xtool can create this dynamic animated visualization in seconds for free. From a blank spreadsheet, click on the Xtool tab. Make sure you're signed in, then click on the Xtool button. Once the program is open, search with the keyword radar. Since this is going to be a basic radar chart, click on the Radar Basic function. This demonstration will be using the sample data from the existing knowledge base. Once clicked, a spreadsheet with the essential information needed for running this app will appear. This is the sample data that will be used.
Excel has already grouped the data needed to create this chart together by performing the Excel list selected range function. When ready to perform the function, highlight the gray area on the chart listing the input data. Instead of clicking on knowledge base like last time, click on run. Click on collect selection address to confirm the set of data needed for the graphic. If this is a frequently run task, archive it by either selecting a blank cell where the formula can be pasted and clicking on Write App Name on the main Xtool tab, then right click and choose the Xtool option to run. Or the function can be pinned to your customizable ribbon. Edit Preferences here and add the app. It will appear here according to your designated preferences. Once the app is run and the data is processed, a browser window will open. Then your completed graphic will appear. Thank you.
congratulations, you have covered many aspects of the data visualization using Excel and uh, powered by Excel. And we go over the data visualization means and methods within Excel and what are the uh, additional needs that we uh, have for data visualization with current technology development and how we can offer them be above and beyond Excel. And we also introduce Extool as an option for you to easily create all of these charts right within Excel without relying on expensive and uh, complicated software. Um, and uh, we go over two packages of Extool data visualization applications that for the package one, we demonstrate that we can use various technology, basically JavaScript, Python, or R, to present the data in various manner, or present the data in the matter of a graphical information system, or 3D rendering, and so on and so forth. And uh, in the second package, we focus on uh, business intelligence only. We use a third-party eCharts library to create many business uh, intelligence related charts right within Excel. So with that, what is the few things that you want to remember out of this course is that if you think Excel is powerful in terms of data visualization, you would see that through these sample apps, Excel with cloud technology will make you a superman at work. So it is only an introductory course for these sample Excel apps that we have developed. You would be able to find much more Extool application that on our platform. You can go to our website to find more about it. And the goal of this course is not only introduce these applications, but rather explain the idea and the implementation process to boost your productivity at your work. And our platform is structured to be open for any developer to contribute and register their app and share with anybody over the world. And you can customize your own knowledge base or application library on the platform as well. So the information beyond this course is available at our website, www.goparatour.com. You can always email us if you have any uh, additional inquiries, and we will send uh, periodically the latest news about our development. And uh, on YouTube, we have a series of channels that talk about various aspects of the X2 applications. One of them is business intelligence or data visualization apps that uh, you can easily learn from the videos. In fact, all of the apps that uh, we included in this uh, course is included in the YouTube as well. So the meetup is that uh, we, if you live in uh, San Francisco Bay Area, we have local meetup group that meet regularly. Search for Excel in Bay Area uh, on meetup. And if you have any question or, or further needs, you can always email me at zhenyu.zu at goparatool.com. Thank you very much. Have fun with data visualization with Excel and Xtool.